So we've parked the bikes and uh, where are we going now, mate? I thought I'd show you the Cambridge Real Tennis Club. Wait, it's up there. I'm not Real joking. Tennis Club. Real Tennis. As opposed to fake tennis. Yeah, that's lawn tennis. That's that's like a new game that nobody's ever heard of. This is real tennis. All right, let's go check it out. Come on. Where have you brought me, Anthony? <laughs> what is this? Well, th I thought I'd take you off the beaten track. You know, this is this is one of the hidden gems of Cambridge. You know, um, this is real tennis. You've never seen real tennis before. Well, I'm, I thought I'd seen real tennis. You thought you'd seen this real is tennis. real tennis. What, no, what this on is earth? Real tennis. I've not seen this. This is crazy. So lawn tennis is about 150 years old. This is real tennis. This is about eight or nine hundred years old. They don't know, but it's something like that. It's French. Uh, they would have been a thousand courts in France, but they've all been destroyed during the Revolution. There's only two left in active use in France. There are 48 courts in active use in the world. Eight of them are down the east coast of America, five are in Australia, 25 of them are in the UK. We are the biggest player of this game in the world, the English. Although the real champion, do you know where he's from? Australia. Australia, of course. Hobart. We are from, great sportsmen, the he's Aussies. He's from Hobart, but he lives in England, so we'll let him off, it's okay. <laughs> So, like a wh where, are, uh, where, what are the lines? Where, right. So, are we um, using the, the green lines here? What's I'll give going you, on? I'll give you a little sort of dynamic. So, this Please is do. this wall. This is the main wall. It would have been the wall of a city, and these are shop windows. So, we're basically in a market outside of a city in France originally. Right. So, this end is called the hazard end. <laughs> no, it isn't. This end is the service end. This end is the hazard end. So the service end and the hazard end, you only serve from this side, not the other side. To serve, you have to hit the ball on the sloping roof. Oh, you're kidding me. And it has to hit, it has to fall inside the box with the green line on the back wall over there. I'll show you one. In the old days, do you know what the word serve comes from this game? Because you wouldn't have served yourself. You are the king and you would have shouted servant and the servant would have ran on. This would have been a door and they'd have ran in from here. They'd have thrown the ball, start the game, and then run off. And that would have been a serve. So it would, the word serve comes from servant. So that's where it comes from. Anyway, so if you are playing, and the ball bounces twice in the back over there, where there's no lines, then you would lose the point if you're playing from that end. If you are playing from this end, and you hit it in that side, that end window there, it's called a winning gallery, you win the point. If you hit it inside that blue, oh, blue box, it's blue on the other court, red on this court, red, red box over there, it's called a grill, G-R-I-L-L-E, -L -L -E. it's French of course. That red box is red called box a grill. There, you win the point. If you hit the roof or the windows, then you are out, that is out. Everything else is in. If you were playing from the other side and you hit it inside that window over there, much bigger, you win the point. That's called a dedon. It means inside in French. Can you see the lines on the floor? Yes, this is so the service end. This is the service end. There's also lines on that side as well. If a ball bounces twice, you don't win or lose. You create a chase. So, one yard through to six, last gallery. A yard worse than last, second gallery, door, first gallery, and the line. So, if a ball bounces twice, let's say on the six yard line, that is a chase of six yards. You will change ends at some point. It starts to get more complicated. But you will change ends and you will play the chase. The chase of six yards. So, if a ball bounces twice, the next point, and the second bounce is on the four yard line, that is better than six yards. That person wins the point because they did it better than six. I'm really lost. Yeah. How do you know so much about this game? Because I play it. You play it? Clearly, you the, must. The thing is, it's designed by the aristocracy to sound really, really complicated. Right. But the reality is, if you play the game, it all makes sense. Wow. So you can come here and get lessons? Or... Absolutely, yeah. Wow. Give them a call, Cambridge Real Tennis Club, and they'll give you a free lesson. They'll give you a free lesson? Absolutely. They want to shut this is the University of Cambridge. We're all about educating people. Now that's better than in Wimbledon, isn't it? Yeah, they love it. They love people to come here, see the game. Isn't this fascinating? The more people we can show this game, the better. Brilliant. It's fascinating. Yeah.
come on a tour. Well, I can't you. believe you got to hit it off the roof. That's just genius. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It off That's the roof. just to start the game. <laughs> just to start. Yeah. Brilliant.